Welcome back to the channel. I am Jim Rage, LT1. Thank you for stopping by. If this is your first time here, please stick with me to the end and give me the opportunity to earn your subscription for future Camaro content. Today I have a long overdue video of requests from viewer Grey Ghost wanted to know about the overall driving experience here in Bruce. I got a hold of the GoPro. Where's it at? Here it is. We got the GoPro. We're going to go POV. And we're going to talk about it. I'm going to try to test some stuff, head off some of the other questions that you may have about the driving experience. So let's go. The first and most important part of the driving experience, of course, Here's the cold start. <laughs> Damn, I love that. God, I love that cold start. So, as you can see, I'm seeing about a third of a tank of gas. We're not going to drive that far today, so. Now you see the um, backup camera. Nice and clear. People complain about you know, the blind spots. <laughs> you know, it's... It's like any other vehicle, you adapt. You set your mirrors and you just adapt to it. I mean, it's not that big a deal for me because I've driven Camaros for most of my driving life. So the, the rotary dials on the climate control, they're interesting. I have to reach around the stick to get to the, uh, the actual fan velocity, you want to call it, whatever you want to call it. But again, none of that's a deal breaker. you get the burbles you get the burbles so right now I'm running in sport mode so the suspension is supposed to be a little bit stiffer um, and it doesn't I'm okay with it you know a, a bumpy ride I'm, I'm it's not something that bothers me try to get you a little mirror view mirror view this golf course over here shit just up and shut down one day they drove around the course telling everybody it was closed, get off the course. And I think I have noticed the ride being a little softer in touring mode a couple of times I've done it with some distance. But yeah, 72, 73 now. I mean, 70 ain't nothing for this. I mean, 70 isn't much for any car, but this just feels like, I mean, it feels like I'm going 35. It doesn't feel like 70. You have some other cars that have uh, you know, a worse suspension or uh, the cabin noise is a lot worse. You feel like you're going 70 in those, but this in this car, 70 feels like 35, 45 to me. Now this is a rougher part of the road. Uh, I think the, the hard sidewalls or the run flat tires are gonna pick up that road noise more. I mean, if if the road you're riding on is weathered and bumpy you know or gravelly in any way i mean don't look for it to be quiet you're going to hear it maybe oh looks like it's going to be open i get to have a little bit of fun here took that turn at about 40. that was 40 to 85. Just like that. We got a little bit of some gusty winds on this particular day and it hasn't pushed the car around at all. I mean, I just don't know how else to say it. I love, love driving this car. This is just the LT1. This is the base V8 model, the entry level V8. I can just imagine an SS or above with those suspension bells and whistles and some of the other things would feel like. How much does it change the car? A ZL1? Holy God, I can't imagine. So 
Lieutenant Curiosity. On the current tank of gas, I am uh, registering 24.9 miles per gallon. And when I do drive it to work, this is pretty much how I drive it. It's just a much longer stretch on the interstate. Acceleration lane. That was just 85. So this section of my interstate is freshly paved. So cabin noise is relatively quiet. This is obviously the older portion of the, uh, the asphalt. Um, you can tell it just looks like crap. Definitely sounds like crap. All right, off the interstate. One more little run back to the house. I got a long straight here. Hopefully I can take advantage of coming up. Ah, I got a car up here. Damn. Now squat down so you can see this road. So, you see a straight like this, and you're driving a car like this. What is your first instinct? <laughs> oh God, I wish that car wasn't in front of me. Purples. <laughs> Woo! So, Great Ghost, what do you think? Is it everything you hope for? I'm giving you good information, I hope. So I agree with what most everybody else says. The six-speed manual would certainly be more fun. But you have to remember, at the time I got this, I thought it was gonna be my daily driver. I didn't expect to keep the dirty daily, but they didn't wanna give me enough money for it. And I've done the manual with a commute similar to what I have now. Did not like it, not fun at all. So we got the 10-speed. Hopefully this answered everybody's questions. I'm gonna take this off because I look ridiculous. But I'm sure that video is gonna be fun to review. So that's the driving experience in the 2023 Camaro LT1 in the shark skin metallic, AKA Bruce, Bruce the shark. Let me know what you think in the comment below. Did today answer all your questions? Do you have additional questions? I'll be happy to uh, do what I can to answer them and give you all the information that uh, that you need to hopefully make a decision to buy one of these things before they go away next year. Speaking of that, next video, I'm going to go over the GM ordering process based on my own personal experience from six months ago to get you guys started if you're on the fence about it. But that's going to do it for this one. I am Jim Rage LT1. Thank you for staying with me to the end. If I've earned your subscription, please click that button and the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Until next time, I'm Jim Rage, and I am...